say stock up on Boston Nines if you if you because that once if they keep going in this direction with the Boston lineup. Hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve, but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Hey you, yeah your colors are changing. Boston or Adidas Boston 10 in for testing in the studio shoe studio how we doing out there on this fine day man oh man another shoe in for testing I'd say I am um, I'm sh I don't know what to I'm confused by what's going on in the Boston lineup I'll just say right now um, and actually while I'm thinking of it who is let us know in the comments who is racing the Boston Marathon in September or in next spring? Okay, so spring 2022. So let us know if you're running the Boston Marathon. That's the uh, race this shoe is named after. Okay, so the Boston 10 is a complete transformation from the Boston 9. It's, it's a totally different shoe. All right, it's just they've completely changed it, including, yes, the rods under. You can see the rods there through the midsole let's dive into it did a 20 mile test run in the shoes there it is on your screen i forget the pace that i ran um but anyway nothing it was not a fast run but just getting the miles in 20 miles there it is soak it in soak it in okay let's do the twist test it's um it's twisting but it's yeah it's not loosey goosey it's just twisting um i'm putting some pretty good force into it there in fact yeah well i'll come back to that in a minute we're looking at an eight and a half millimeter drop 39.5 in the heel, 31 in the forefoot for definitely a maximalist stack height, especially there in the heel. Women's size 8, men's size 9 on your screen. Let's confirm. I believe we're like a 9.3. Yeah, 9.2, 9.3 in my size. And so, yes, there is my score. That is pretty heavy for a training shoe. It's a pretty heavy for any type of road running shoe in my size. So 5 out of 10 for the Weight score, not so good. Again, it, it picked up a lot of weight from the uh, Boston, not, from the previous year's iteration. Moving on that upper, so it's a it's a lightweight mesh. And I gotta say, I love what they're doing overall uh, through the midfoot. Now, some of the sewing, so it's <laughs> it almost looks like a shoe from the 90s as far as how they're sewing this upper together. And I just, it's like a, it's like a regression. It's moving in the wrong direction. And even here in the heel counter, this uh, extra something, it almost is just for aesthetics rather than um, actual helping the, the heel counter here. And let's do the heel counter test anyway. Anyway, how they're sewing the upper together is creating seams. That's the word I'm looking for. And let me just see if I can feel. Yeah, a little bit there. Okay, I guess they're protecting that pretty well. But anyway, I'm not, Loving the upper overall. Okay, so lockdown score is seven and a half, but overall score for the upper six and a half. I do see the the toe box being uh, very breathable, and again, back to that. Yes, it's a semi gusseted tongue, um, and I've always struggled. I don't know about you, I've always struggled in the last two years with the heel cup lockdown uh, for my heel. I just feel like Adidas's heel counters and heel cup um, is. I can never quite feel perfect in the right there in the heel where it's critical to make sure you don't want any heel slipping there so anyway overall score again for the upper is six and a half i just think it's a little overbuilt at this point okay moving on to the midsole it's a light strike pro combined with light strike eva and there's a lot of light strike eva which is this white here on the bottom the pro is up here on the top and i think that is why the the weight is jumping up one of the reasons why the weight is jumping up quite a bit and so ride and energy return whoo i um and maybe part of it was because my legs were a little tired when i did the 20 mile run it was a big week of training that week but i felt dead out there even with these energy rods okay and did i mention this it's this carbon technology so it's not a plate it's energy rods here and again you can see it there through the midfoot 
and it felt it was a firm ride a very and let's just do this okay i'm not afraid here yeah it's like i'm putting all my force into it everyone like it just it did not feel it felt clunky and hard and firm and uncomfortable all right that's why i'm just telling you how it is and again it might be connected a little bit to how my legs felt that day but we are going sadly five out of ten for the ride and energy return it just didn't feel good under step for me overall score six out of ten um yeah i'm i'm not i'm not excited now and here we go i'll get on my high horse for a second i don't think you need energy rods in a midsole or any carbon fiber plate in a midsole that is a training shoe and especially a training shoe that weighs over nine ounces in my size this should weigh seven ounces and, th and then you could use it for tempo threshold um and crossover if you wanted a little bit into you know a local a local 10k or a local half marathon it's too heavy and you just don't need those rods in there. And I think that's also the other reason why it's just feeling so stiff and uh, I'm just, I'm not, ex I'm not excited as you can tell. Moving on to the outsole, 7.75 out of 10. Um, it's fine, it's fine. It could probably reduce the amount a little bit under the forefoot, okay? Fit, true to size, no, we, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there was an issue, I almost forgot. Uh, the heel counter, okay, so seven out of 10. Uh, wasn't major, but I just, um, I, I'm struggling a little bit with Adidas's heel counters right now. Comfort score is so low, five and a half out of 10 because of the midsole ride. Uh, positive and drawback, I guess the positive is the outsole. Um, I struggled to find a positive. Uh, maybe the breathability of the toe box. Yeah, mm, I don't know. I don't know, maybe the sock liner. Should we pull, nope. It's like paper thin in there. Paper thin sock liner, but that is okay, everyone. Okay, drawback is the overall ride. Now, actually, this is probably the positive. Durability prediction. I'd say at least 500 plus. Yeah, I see this midsole lasting a long time. So 500 plus for that durability prediction. How will I use this shoe? Who is the best for? I don't think it's going to 50 miles, okay? So if I was going to take it to 50 miles, no. I'm just not gonna take it to 50 miles. I'm not, why Why sugarcoat it, right? In the studio. We've gotta tell it, tell it as it is, as in the studio. I'm just, I'm just not excited, okay? So who is it best for? If you prefer a higher stack and a firmer ride. Now, actually the price point, now given the amount of thought and engineering and technology they put into the shoe, I'm actually a little shocked it's coming in at, a, at 140. I would expect that price to be even higher yeah, so anyway, 140 there is my score, not too shabby. Other shoes to buy, I got nothing. Okay, shoe quick specs for the Adidas Audi Zero Boston 10. One more time, soak it in. There you go. Once again, 9.3 ounces in my size. All right, lightweight, 50% recycled mesh for the upper. And uh, that early score and it is the final score, 6.68 out of 10 didn't even you know didn't even kind of come close to breaking into the seven so that is a you know i guess it as far as the american grading system that is a failing score here in the studio sorry adidas i just gotta we gotta tell it to you straight i enjoyed the boston nine i didn't love the boston nine but i enjoyed the boston nine upper right hand corner for that vlog I would say stock up on Boston Nines if you if you because that once if they keep going in this direction with the Boston lineup, ugh, I have I foresee the Boston Nine actually being very popular in 2022 and 2023. So stock up on Boston Nines, everybody. All right, comment of the day. Here we go from Jonathan. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I pulled this from, Jonathan. Here we go. Side note: saw your house picture. Uh, pictures they look oh okay this is from a while ago sorry about that jonathan says uh, side note saw your house pictures they look great was wondering if you were going to mention the studio oh man can you imagine if uh i didn't take anything down and just left and the new owner what they would uh it would be funny to film that at some point all right jonathan you get the comment of the day and question of the day um what is a life hack that you use Okay, and I don't, I've never, I don't even know what, like, yeah, what is a life hack? I'm trying to think of one that I use. 
But what is a life hack or like a, a trick or like something that helps you? I always love saving time. That's another way to think about this, all right? Good, I'm sure there'll be good comments down below about a life hack, all right? Boston 10, sorry. We will toss it to the Boston 9. Right there, right there, right there. Adidas Boston 9 from uh, 2020, I guess it would have been. Early 2020. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.